police forensic officers worked throughout the night at the crime scene where the killing took place. Much of this area is still sealed off and may be for some time yet. A private ambulance arrived in the middle of the night and was taken through the police cordon. It all started on this street in Woolwich in the middle of the afternoon. This car was driven onto the pavement and into the path of a man believed to be a serving soldier. Two men got out of the car and carried out a savage attack. New images of the moments after this incident are emerging all the time. This was scout leader Ingrid Luwayo Kennett confronting one of the alleged attackers. The mother of two stood just a few feet away. He had what appeared to be a knife in his left hand. Speaking to the Daily Telegraph, she said the man told her, we want to start a war in London. And this haunting still image, taken from a video shot by an eyewitness on a camera phone, shows the other suspect brandishing what looks like a meat cleaver. He spoke at length to the camera before walking off. Eyewitnesses recalled what they saw in horrific detail. These two guys are chopping this guy to pieces, literally hacking at something, like it was a bit, piece of meat. These two guys were crazy. They, they, they just were not there, they were just animals. I'm just standing there watching this guy roam around the body with his other friend doing the other side. And as the police car pulled up, they both looked at the police car and then the one with the gun walked towards the police car and she jumped out and she shot him. London's most senior police officer said the investigation was now being led by the Counter-Terrorism Command. We've seen a horrific attack on the streets of London. A terrible murder has, been, has occurred. We've launched an investigation led by the Counter-Terrorist Command and we've made two arrests in relation to that awful crime. We now ask that people obviously give us the opportunity to thoroughly investigate this crime to make sure we get to the bottom of who committed it and why. And we urge that people remain calm during that process. But it was anything but calm on the streets of Woolwich. At night, anger returned. The English Defence League staged a small demonstration, which at times ended in clashes with police. Enough's enough. Our message is enough, enough. We have weak leaders, weak police. Our police and our leaders tiptoe around this issue. This issue is political Islam. It's political Islam that's spreading across this country. The disturbances here appeared small and sporadic, but they may only serve to make matters worse. The Muslim Council of Britain has condemned the attack and called on the police here to calm tensions. But as many in this neighbourhood come to terms with the shock of what happened here, many more will be worried about what may happen next. Flowers in tribute to the dead soldier were laid at the entrance to Woolwich Barracks. One note simply read, to the poor young man who lost his life on this very sad day. Nick Martin, Sky News, Woolwich.